Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to the Armor Bear Awakening. It's good to be with you. And I just release heaven's blessings over your life today. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And then if you will, and I really appreciate many of you have done this. Thank you so much uh, for sending it to someone else. We're getting new uh, subscriptions every day. Thank you. And my prayer, of course, is there be an impartation in the life. Everyone watching this. Uh, the, the spirit of the kingdom, which is humility, submission, obedience, Philippians chapter two, verse five, let this mind be in you, which in Christ, everything in our lives flows through a spirit of humility, servanthood. The armor bearer is all about servanthood. So, and if you enjoy the program, go to, of course, go to God's armorbearer.com, get the material interested in our mentoring program. Please give me a call. Let me know. Or if you will send me an email and I'll, I'll make contact with you. And we can get uh, touched together. I'd love to help you in any way that I can. I'm really starting here right now. I'm just talking about foundations of Armor Bearer. You, you've got, you know, when you look at the kingdom, the kingdom operates on two principles. You have the person of Jesus. Then you have the principles of Jesus. And the person of Jesus is Jesus coming into your life. It is experiencing him. Uh, but in, and all the things that God does in our lives, manifested presence, having him, uh, at times in our life, refresh us, renew us, revive us. I mean, all that's in the person. Uh, the principle of Jesus is the word. It is what keeps us going. It is the strength of God in us. It gives us understanding because here's the truth. You can have visions, revelations. You can have angels manifesting. You can go to the third heaven and come back. And you can do that and you can still sow discord among the brethren. You can still be have a spirit of Jezebel. But yet you're having visions and dreams and God's flowing through you and miracles are happening. And you say, how can that even be? Well, Jesus made it perfectly clear. People stand before me and say, Lord, didn't we cast out devils in your name? Didn't we do all these things? And Jesus said, depart from me. I don't even know who you are because you did not understand the principles of the kingdom. You, again, you can be caught up with the Lord and come back and can't pay your light bill. What we have to understand is the spirit and the word, they work together. They're not separate. Yes, the spirit of God comes. But if I don't have feelings today, the Bible tells me I'm not to walk by feelings. I'm walk by faith. So whether I feel it or not, when I pray, according to Matthew 6, 6, the moment I pray, I'm in the throne room. Well, I sure don't see no throne room. I don't feel it. I can't touch it. I can't taste it. And I thought, you know, taste and see that the Lord is good. I'm not tasting anything. That is where we get off. It's because we're looking all about the person of Jesus. The person of Jesus gets you ready for eternity. The principles get you ready on this earth. And it's how to live and prosper on the earth. And you have to know these things if you're going to fulfill your gift and your calling. Uh, because I was uh, visiting with someone today and the, the, the thing was is that you got one has a gift in the church and it's all about this. If you don't get a revelation of this, you don't know nothing. And then there's another one. No, if you got to have this, you got to do this. And then the pastor's trying to get them all to flow together. And there's this disunity and, oh my gosh, you got a big mess. And, and foundation is you're not here to compete. You're here to complete. When you lay down all that and you're here to make sure that your pastor and those around him succeed, there's the kingdom. And it's so hard in our natural because we think, well, man, I've had a visitation of God. I mean, I got to get, I got to have a pulpit. I got to do this. I got to do that. No, you don't. God's not about to fall off his throne because you're not in full-time ministry. No, you're already in full-time ministry. You just don't realize and understand it. That the, the five-fold ministry is there to teach that you do the work of ministry. Work of ministry is going in your marketplace and loving on people, not going in there giving them a prophetic word. Your boss don't want to hear about that. And more than likely, he's not born again. He doesn't understand that. You can't go in there talking in tongues and that kind of stuff. And yet people do that because, you know, that, who that's the supernatural. You know, Kenneth Hagin said this senior, 
and it's an amazing statement. He said, you know, you're, you're grasping for the spectacular and you miss the supernatural. You do. It's not about the spectacular. It's not about the, the, all the, you know, fireworks going off. All of that's great, but it's seasonal. The word is not. The word stays constant. The word is the constant. The spirit breathes on the word. The Bible is the teaching from the Holy Spirit. I want the Holy Spirit to be my mentor. That'll never happen unless you read what he said. You've got to read the Bible. That's the principles of living in this earth. It's the principles of how to get along with one another. Uh, the spirit of God comes in us. He's in us. He lives in us and he flows through us. But to, for me to be a minister, I've got to, I've got to give my life not only to him, but to others. I got to lay down my life. Once you lay down your life on the altar, God exalts. He who humbles himself is exalted. He who promotes himself is brought low. Everything in the kingdom is a backwards kingdom. To go up, you got to go down. To be first, you got to be last. And, and to be the greatest, man, you got to be the servant. So there it is. And I, I pray today that this just put something in you. Get meat in your, meat on your bones through the work. The Holy Spirit is right there in that Bible. Well, I, I haven't heard from God in a long time. Uh, Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture, leads me beside still waters. You just got a word from the Holy Spirit right there. He wrote it. He wrote it for you. He's in your life today and he loves you so much. Be encouraged by faith. Begin to th to thank God. God, man, he's a great dance partner. <laughs> Believe me, he knows how to bring joy in life. Oh, I just pray and release this into your life today. And I break every assignment of the devil that's trying to discourage you in any way in Jesus' name. Do me a favor. Go tell your pastor you love him and thank he and his wife or she, what, or whoever's the pastor, thank them for what they do. Okay? Do that. And you have a glorious day.